Today I will test whether using oil to cleanse your face, to get the oil plugs or to remove blackheads, does it really work? Hello everybody, this is Gladys. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, you're probably also wondering does oil cleansing to remove blackheads on your face, does it really work? And are you really able to get those oil plugs out of your face? I am curious as well. So I wanted to give this method a try. And so let's get started. So I'm getting all ready and uh, I pulled my head up. Now I saw oil cleansing in a couple of different places on the internet, on different YouTube channel. And uh, they will have different steps or um, method to oil cleanse. What I wanted to test is um, this method introduced by a esthetician with the Golden RX. And her method is slightly different from what I had been using and some other people who advocate oil cleansing. So I'm gonna test that one out. This oil cleansing method involves two steps. Step one would be to use the cleansing oil to remove the makeup or the sunscreen you have on your face and then you wash it off with water, you emulsify it and then wash it off with water and then you apply the same cleansing oil on the face and then you massage it for however long you want to massage it. Um, and in that video I saw that I heard that she massaged it for about 15 minutes. So. So let me try that. Uh, I don't have that uh, cleansing balm that she used on the video, but I have this um, DHC deep cleansing oil. And so I'm gonna use this instead. So I'm gonna get two pump for the whole of my face. And then I'm gonna rub it all over my hand. And so, and then you massage it on your face where you have makeup. Now, what's good about this cleansing oil is it doesn't have any fragrance in it. And for people who have uh, sensitive skin, I would recommend using a cleansing oil that doesn't, that doesn't have added fragrance in it. Uh, because any potential fragrance, even though if you're not um, allergic to it right now, doesn't mean that you will not accumulate that allergic reaction later on down the road. So um, make sure that you know you make sure that you look for cleansing oil that is fragrance-free. So I'm gonna wash this off and I'll be back. 2,000 years later. Okay, I'm back with a clean face. Um, so step number two will be using the cleansing oil to really massage your face for, I would say, to 10 to 15 minutes. Now I've seen other people reaction video on this particular method and they did get one or two or few of the oil plugs out of their face. Uh, one of my concern I have for my sensitive skin, rosacea prone skin, is that with that excessive long time of rubbing my, get, my face against this oil could potentially irritate my skin. But I'm gonna try this out for you guys. So. I'm gonna get three pumps on my face and I'll see how it works. So I've seen other people who uses this oil cleansing method uh, to remove blackheads. In fact, this oil cleansing method is suggested by a Korean beauty expert and the way she did it it's 
similar but the time of me rubbing my skin with this oil is very minimal um, it only got to two minutes and a half uh, because it says you know excessive rubbing of your face could potentially irritate your skin barrier so I don't know about this Leave a comment down below if you have also tried this method and and maybe it works for your skin or it doesn't work for your skin let me know as well share with me as well because i'm curious if this method is gonna help wait that? Okay, so something came out i don't know if you can see I can definitely feel that there are some dead skin cell that got rubbed off from my face. Okay, one thing came out. I don't know if that's my skin cell or blackheads. So there is some white, I would say that's skin cell, I wouldn't say um, my blackheads um, came out. But it's just like one or two. When I have thousands of pores on my face. I'm gonna rinse this, get tired. So in her video, um, she's used a, um, a washcloth, a warm washcloth to rinse it off, uh, to wipe it off. Um, I am going to emulsify it and then to use a uh, cloth to wipe it off as well. So I'll be back. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm back with cleansing my face. Um, my face felt very tight uh, after all this excessive um, rubbing. Um, however, I do feel that uh, my face is softer um, well of course you know if you massage your face with oil so I didn't really find much of the you know blackheads or the oil plugs that get out of my skin it was more like um, some dead skin cell that got pulled away from my face and for that excessive amount of rubbing oil against my face sensitive skin um, and only to remove one or two, maybe four um, of those that skin cell. I don't think it's worth it, especially after I've cleansed my face. I feel that my face was extremely dry and I am conscious with the fact that um, I'm constantly rubbing my skin. So uh, I don't know if that's a potential irritation to my skin barrier but I wouldn't suggest for people who have sensitive skin and I probably wouldn't do it for that amount of time um, what I would do instead and that's what I do every single day is to minimize the amount of time of me rubbing against my skin hello this is a day after the oil cleansing I do want to add this clip onto the video because when I did the oil cleansing yesterday um, I did feel tightness around my face um, however uh, as the day goes by I did notice some changes on my skin and so I wanted to uh, add this part to the video but right after I've 
cleanse the face and remove all the oil, I did experience tightness around my skin. That tightness, I would say, it's like dehydrated skin. And that's why I wouldn't recommend people have sensitive skin because your our skin is already very sensitive and skin barrier is already very weak. So, you know, excessive rubbing for like 10 minutes on the face is not recommended. However, I do notice a difference in my skin uh, condition. So I have oily combination skin and especially around my T-zone area. When my skin felt tight. I do also notice that uh, throughout the day after I've oil cleansed, uh, my face has less oil production. Um, even though I needed to put extra moisturizer on my face because it was really tight. However, I do notice, uh, you know, once my oil production is not, not as bad, blackheads kind of indirectly formed less as a result of less oil production. This is the indirect effect of oil cleansing. However, I really have mixed feelings on whether or not to uh, keep on doing this um, on my skin because I do feel, you know, the... I don't know. Um, I don't know if it is good or bad for my skin. So, uh, you do you and uh, if you wanted to give it a try, do so. However, you However, for people who have sensitive skin, I do want to um, give you a warning that, you know, you're excessively rubbing your face. I know it's oil, the friction is less, but you're still rubbing your face for 10 minutes straight. I'm gonna let you go back to the original video. Do what fits for your skin. Um, I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, but if you also find that you know rubbing your face for that 10 to 15 minutes uh, for that one or two maybe four of those uh, that uh, you can give it a try so that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you find this video helpful make sure you subscribe to my channel to support me to make more video like this make sure you also turn on that notification bell for any new video video i release every week i'll see you in my next video bye